I was going to find his daddy in Haines City, Florida. And uh, when I find him, he kind of already heard about me. He knew his son was, 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 was doing good with the rap thing. And I say to him, I say, man, I said, uh, let me ask you something. I say, man, uh, I, I say, I'm, I'm see what you can you know, he said, I know, I heard, heard about you. I said, he said, where's my baby? And I said, uh, he's not here. Blood was in Daytona Beach. Uh, he was down with some girl. He was saying whatever, just hanging and stuff. And, um, and uh, I told him, I said, man, let me ask you a question. I said, all these years you got this son in Panama City. He's been in different places, but he's in Panama City. You ain't never thought about going looking for him? He was short guy. He's short just like Blood Rock. But uh, he looked, he said, talk to me. And, that, and him saying, talk to me. We're just well saying, say whatever you need to say. And so I said, let me tell you something. I said, you got a son in this world that's doing things. Man, he's been through a lot, man. You ain't been there for him. I said, he don't even know who you are or who you, what you look like. He don't know what you look like. I said, man, how can you do that? Now, remember, my daddy wasn't there for me either. So I feel this, okay? And I said, and things with me and my dad, I feel like maybe it couldn't be fixed a minute, but maybe God can use me and put me together to fix blood raw in his daddy relationship. Because at least I've seen my daddy before, he ain't never even seen his daddy. So he's standing there, we're standing in front of his house, he got a little small little house, a little wood frame house, and uh, he's standing there, and he said, I'm going to talk to you. And I said, let me ask you something else. I said, you ever thought about me? He said, I thought about him every day of my life, I love him. He said, I saw some pictures. Them boys right here, some of the other guys, and they were, brought me some on the internet, showed to me. I said, that's my baby. He said, I ain't know how to reach out. I was ashamed. I said, you don't have to reach out. I'm here to reach out for him to connect y'all. He said, I said, but let me ask you this. I said, his mom, Miss Barbara Ann Sly, she been dead many years now. I said, why didn't you show up to the funeral? He's 11 years old. His mama died of a heroin overdose. You telling me, you knew about that, but you didn't show up to the funeral. He said, man, I was doing so bad, I couldn't make it. He said, but then another part of me, I couldn't make it because, he said, and this is what he said, it was, it was touching, somehow it just touched me. He said, he said man, see, wake me. Boy, I love that woman. I love Barbara Einstein. Oh, and he closed his eyes like he wanted to cry. I love it. Like almost to say, because this is what I took. This is what I took. You have no idea, this is what I felt he was saying. You have no idea how much I loved it, how much she took me through, how much heartache and pain. I had her hit me in Haines City, and one day I come home, she was gone with my son. And I ran and chased and begged her, but she could not give up the street life. It was hard for me to go to the funeral, see, wait, but I still love my baby. Where he at? I said, I'm going to contact him. And I said, I give you my word, we're going to come back. He said, you promise? I said, we're going to come back. I said, we're going to fix this. Because all things broken by men can be mended by God. And so, I just believe that. So, guess what? We came back and I took it to the daddy, man, and hooked them up and they cried together. But before I hooked them up, I left them and got on Highway 27. I said, blood, blood, I found your daddy. He was in the hotel with the girl about me. Wake up. He got on. I said, man, listen, I found your daddy. He said, for real? I said, yeah. What did he look like? And I told him what his daddy was saying. And on the phone, he started crying. And he said, give him a minute. He couldn't talk. He was out of control in his voice. He couldn't, couldn't talk. And then on the other end, uh, on the other end, uh, uh, I started crying. And uh, and so when I started crying, I said, I was meant to be here for this dude and to help this dude. And maybe we won't make it to the top with music. But today is when I start making him be a better man. A better man because you got to understand music is a beautiful thing but there's nothing more beautiful than the human heart, the human character. There's nothing, there's nothing more beautiful than, than men and things that's been broken. You know? And uh, and that's when it started. From then on I started talking to him about being a better father you know, uh, to his son, Cyprus. I started talking to him about the power of forgiveness. Forgiveness of people. And asking some people for, for forgiveness, you know. And uh, but I hooked him up with his daddy. We went back and saw his daddy man and they hugged and they practically kissed. And that was a beautiful thing. See, I got some some revelations. I got some things that I accomplished with Blood Raw. Ain't got shit to do with no music. Nothing to do with music. 
It got everything to do with human spirit. You know what I'm saying? 